This video here will focus on the uh, SCR 508 family of receivers and transmitters. Uh, they were a World War II set used in vehicles and tanks. And there was about three different versions of this in this frequency range. The setup you're looking at here is the SCR 508. It consists of one BC604 transmitter and then two BC603 matching receivers mounted on the FT237 mounting rack. There's also an SCR 528, uh, again with this BC604 transmitter, this time having only one BC603, and this either of these slots, usually the middle one would be empty or would have a uh, CA74 spares chest as an option. There's also an SCR 538, uh, this one would be without the 604, and would have one BC603 and then a... Um, BC605 interphone amplifier for uh, communications within whatever vehicle it's mounted in. They can come either in 12 or 24 volt versions and that's simply a matter of changing out the dyno motors. The dyno motors are uh, pre-wired so there's no internal adjustment to be made and as you can see in this there's a little window there and you should be able to see 12 volts in the dyno motors so you know what they are and then, then both 603's have the dyno motors visible from the back. The uh, SCR508 is uh, one of the early wideband FM sets, and it's claimed to be about 30 watts output. There's 80 channels available. Uh, they range from 20 megahertz to 27.9 megahertz, and this is done through crystals. There's a crystal drawer, if I can get it open, here where it stores uh, the crystals. Little door flips up there, and once you select the crystals that you uh, are going to use, then they are put in through this front panel here, and there's slots for 10 crystals. And at that stage, you would then go ahead and tune and pre-set um, all your 10 channel selectors here, these push buttons. As you can see, it's like on a car radio. Uh, the 604 also has a tune and operate meter. Uh, this is for uh, different uh, testing functions. There's a switch on the back side here for uh, different readings on the meter and it's also used for uh, setting up your crystals to the switches. And in conjunction with that there's also a uh, operate and um, tune switch here. Uh, in the tune mode it runs the dyna motor which will then uh, net your transmitter to the receiver and enable you to uh, tune your receiver here to the transmitter. Uh, the on-off switch is here. We'll turn that on. As you can see, there's a green light uh, indicating the set is on. There's a radio and interphone switch here. On the bottom here, there's a tank and then I think it's other vehicles switch. And this uh, is for your modulation. It limits in the uh, other vehicles, or I'm sorry, in the tank um, setting. So uh, uh, it will cut back the, uh, the modulation in high noise areas where you don't want as much uh, background noise being picked up. Uh, the next uh, what we have set here we have here is the uh, BC603 receiver. Uh, again as I said there's uh, 10 presets that would be uh, tuned to the 604 transmitter. Speaker blast shield here. Um, you have also a tuner where you can manually tune uh, this is done by pushing in this button, deselecting uh, one of the channels so there's no channel selected, and then it gives you the ability to tune, and there's a little tuning window down, uh, down here. Uh, the on-off switch, again, a radio intercom switch. What we'll do is we'll flip this on. Oop, wrong one. And um, let it warm up a second. Uh, this, again, has an operate tune switch, similar to the transmitter. And where you, you can tune it, as you see it warms up, you'll get a pilot indicator light here. There is an off-on speaker switch here, which shuts this off. And you should hear some hash at this point. There we go. Another neat thing on this being it's FM, there's a, there is a squelch circuit here. Turn the switch on, and then this here will adjust your sensitivity, as you can hear it has disappears as they decrease the sensitivity here. So that's basically the 604 transmit and receiver. To operate, throw the switch. You can hear the dynamometer start up in the transmitter. Hello, one, two, one, two. And there's a slight amount of uh, 
side tone that you should be able to hear in the receiver. Hello, one, two, one, two, test. And then if we throw the squelch pack on, you can hear it gets nice and quiet. So, let's shut that down. So that's the transmitting receiver, and it's mounted on the FT-237 base. Uh, there's two terminal uh, antenna terminals in the back, one for transmit, one for receive. And you might want to know why there's two. Most everything in the 508 and the uh, 528 setup will use the 604, so you'd use the transmitter uh, terminal. But if there is no transmitter in the 538 configuration, we just said the 603 and the 605, then you would use the receive terminal. So that's, uh, in a nutshell, basically some of the common functionality of the uh, transmitter receiver in the SCR 508. So what I thought would be neat is um, there's a lot of these sets out there. They're very common. Uh, I'm not sure how many are actually running, but uh, I thought it would be neat to actually have one set talk to another. So what I've done is I've set up a, a SCR 528 local here, and with a helper, uh, I'm going to attempt to... Uh, transmit between the two so you can actually hear what a wideband FM set will talk to and I'll have two BC604s uh, talking back and forth to each other. So uh, let me get set up here and we'll get right back to you. KB, this is KBK. Uh, do you copy over? on that. Uh, how's the copy on this end? Uh, coming in here pretty good. 5.9 at least. So back to you. Copy is 5.9, 5.9. Copy is 5.9. Okay. Uh, good deal on that. So uh, this should conclude our testing of the SCR 508. This is uh, KBK, clear with KB. Thank you. So there you have it. Uh, one BC604 and 603 talking to another BC604 and 603. So that's uh, kind of give you an idea how these things sound.